More calls for change amid the unrest in America. Now, local activists are protesting today, calling for the state attorney, Catherine Fernandez Rundle, to step down. Local 10 News reporter Amy Viteri is live in Miami with the details. Well, that group of organizers gathered here today to call on state attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle to resign from her position. And also they gathered to highlight cases they say in which her office failed to do its job. That group of organizers gathered here on 12th Avenue this afternoon. They say to call on Rundle to end her campaign for reelection after what they describe as a failure to charge any law enforcement officer in an on duty killing during all of her 27 years in office. Several people who lost loved ones in connection with encounters with law enforcement were also here to speak about their cases. Among them was Crystal Foster. She's the sister of Edward Foster III. He was shot and killed by a Homestead police officer in 2015. The family says the case has gone nowhere. We want justice. There's no body cameras in Homestead. Our family needs answers. Uh, my brother was the third person that was killed by this officer. My brother was shot in the back multiple times in broad daylight. We need new leadership in this office. And we got a statement from Catherine Fernandez Rundle's office telling us that case involving Edward Foster remains open. It read in part, for weeks now, we have been trying to obtain contact information to schedule the taking of a sworn statement of an individual who indicated online that he was an eyewitness to the shooting. According to information we received, that witness has refused to meet at MDPD headquarters or our office for the taking of that statement. And Rundle's office says once they are able to review all of the evidence and conclude their investigation, they will then send their report to their police shooting review committee. And one more thing organizers brought up today is term limits, and they have now launched a petition. They are seeking term limits for state attorneys, and they're trying to get state legislators to pass a law to make that a requirement for state attorneys throughout Florida. We're live in Miami. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News.